ceiling as well. Moving on through here though is the main living area, so living room, dining room. I loved that piano. I played a little bit on it. I am not a professional pianist, but uh, I was just tapping along. <laughs> but beautiful dining area. I loved every decoration they had in here. I thought it was very homey. Very homey. More, a lot of seating area actually. But, oh my gosh, I, I think you would put maybe some fruit in there. I don't even know, but I thought it was really cute. Again, windows going to the main road. Overall, this house had a lot of great natural lighting, which I really enjoyed. But this is, that's the door to the bathroom, and then this is just the living room area, I would say. I loved that shell side table. That was my favorite corner in the house. But we've got some uh, books up there, a projector. It was really cool. A lot of seating area in that door over here. I don't know what it leads to. I assume downstairs, but it's locked. So I'm just guessing. <laughs> but back through here, it just loops you around back to the kitchen. As you can see, I love that little table they have for an island. I thought it was very useful. And more little storage areas. Here is what I assume to be their kids' room. Um, they did have the kids' name on the wall, so I didn't want to show that, so that's why you don't get a full view of the room, but I thought it was fun. It felt very clean in there to be a kid's room, um, even with, like, the wall art, I feel. I know they had to clean for, you know, guests or whatnot, but I, I don't know. It was nice. <laughs> it almost didn't feel like a kid's room. <laughs> we never used it, though. We were usually upstairs or here in the living room. And then there's this linen closet in there. But let me take you through the bathroom here because this was the producer's favorite room. This gorgeous view from the tub. Let me tell you, we had a bubble bath in here, and it was amazing. We definitely did clean the tub, don't worry. <laughs> I loved this setup, I loved those lights, I loved the mirror. I really fell in love with that sink. It was amazing. We got cotton mouth. Cotton mouth. But yeah, that tub was absolutely amazing, and I loved the window, the view. It was just amazing. It was another view to the backyard, and then, yeah, you had extra storage there. But, that's it for this Airbnb. I will send you on to the second one, but one last view of the kitchen. <laughs> because I can't get enough of it. I cannot get enough of it. <laughs> so cute. The second one doesn't get much air time because it was much more enclosed, very intimate setting, but I got to talk to the host of this Airbnb, and she was amazing, dude. I wish we could have smoked with her. <laughs> she um, put out her kayaks, her paddle boat out for us. We were right on the lake. It was amazing, but that's it. Thanks for chilling with me. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry, this couldn't have been any longer, and I'm sorry that you didn't get the original audio, but I really loved this stay. This was our favorite place to stay, too, because it was just so simple. It was great. Shout out to, I think her name is Dina. Shout out to Dina. <laughs> she was a great host. And overall, we loved Vermont. So, just wanted to share a little bit of, with you, um, of our little vacation. <laughs> I got a couple more videos for you too from the vacation, so I hope you're excited because I'm super excited about one of them. Gonna be giving you a little history lesson. <laughs> but thanks for chilling with me. I hope you have 